Hello everyone, welcome back to my Unreal Engine Open World tutorial series. So today, this is what I am going to address. When I run around in the world, now as you can see, because of this, uh, I have enabled uh, shadows only for the load zero. Therefore, when I go closer, and as the load changes from a less load number to the load zero uh, the gr shadows starts to appear but uh, that appearance is very sudden therefore it's very distracting so i am going to solve that problem okay so the first thing i should do is let's see how does the loads are distributed in the world we can look that here under level of detail color coloration enable mesh loads so now as you can see here these uh, white or gray ones are the load zero and the red one is load one and the green one is load two if you don't know what load means it stands for level of detail which you can configure here under load settings so yeah I guess you have some idea what loads are if you don't know so I'll just give a quick introduction so loads are so this is the full detailed model and here you can see the number of triangles and the vertices this uh, load zero 3d model have this cross 3d model have and when you go further from this one here it's load one now as you can see the number of triangles are 383 and the vertices are 394 and now as I go more further now it's load two 192 triangles so as you can see the number of triangles being rendered in each of this load level is reduced as the number go high so the other reason to do that is uh, well higher the number of triangles higher the number of amount of details that we have to render uh, higher the time it will be taken by the CPU so and also there is no point rendering a very high detailed grass mesh maybe somewhere in the distance uh, because player is not going to see those details anyway so therefore this is a way to optimize your game and save the processing resources the rendering resources so yeah now I have actually I haven't done anything much only I have enabled this number of loads as three and applied so that's all you have to do if you don't have any number of any loads here just enter some number here and press apply and so here I have enabled auto compute load distance so so in order to get rid of that sudden appearing well I think it would be better if I enable this red load that means the load one render start rendering a little further away that means the load distance I need to customize it so I will disable this one and to get all the load settings here I will enable this custom now you can see the load zero settings here so under the reduction settings you can see the percentages of, tri of triangles I have enabled here and also build settings and sections I'm not going to explain everything here but here you can enable and disable collision so shadows for each load so I have enabled um, shadows for load 0 and I'm going to leave it like that and also I have enabled shadows for load 1 also but I have disabled shadows for load 2 so that's why you don't see any shadows on this distance grass so let me enable the shadows for a second and show you what happens so here now you can see shadows but 
it will also cost the FPS counter as well so therefore I'm going to keep it disabled now you don't have the shadows in the distance and that's good for FPS so right now what I want to do is let me enable the load coloration again so I need to start rendering this red load a little further away so to do that what I have to do is here as you can see the screen size uh, to render this is the maximum size so when the screen size is below this level lot 2 will be rendered for the model so if the number is higher than this one then instead of load 2 load 1 will be rendered when the screen size is higher than 0.36 load 0 will start rendering you can notice that here you can see the current screen size and the current load that is that had that, that is being rendered into the screen here load 1 screen size is 0.31 so in order to enable load 1 rendering a little further away then I have to do I have to reduce this number so now it's like this so let's say maybe I'll enable do something like 0 0.02 here now it is still load 1 well I guess that's too much yeah I don't think I need this much otherwise it will be it will cost right let's say point zero point zero six oh I guess that this would be better okay so now I'll play the game and see if I still get those weird appearing well it's better than before but still when you're in a place like this yeah notice in the distance you can still see the shadows are appearing even though it is almost unnoticeable when you are in the flat surface right you can see this here okay so and there is also one more thing that we can do this is the material of the grass M grass master and here we have another option tethered load transition let's enable that and see what happens now as you can see here in this visualization when I go like this you can see instead of uh, instantly change in the load you can see the loads are trans loads are changed with the little transition so maybe it would work let's see yeah now it's better you can notice the shadows are appearing but it's not drastic as before all right so I guess we solved that problem up to some extent Okay. <gasps> Alright. 
so i think i'll stop this episode at this point and and thanks for watching so actually this is the first video of my the second year in youtube career so yeah in this year i will i will focus more on uh, instead of trying to rush for developing the next feature i am going to be more focused on the quality on the polishing of the features that i develop so yeah i hope you will be like it and as always if you like to support my work you can get the membership of my patreon club link would be in the description below and as always this episode is sponsored by these generous patreons yeah thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me it really helps me to keep going okay see you in the next episode goodbye